Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? And welcome back in for a second episode or beginner a second beginner's guide to Paragon. This is episode two. I had to unplug my mic there for a second just to kind of readjust some readjust some cables. Today we will be talking about basic gameplay. I'm just gonna queue into a solo game against bots. Just because I want to show you guys the stuff. Obviously, if you're watching this at home, you will notice how I insta-picked a hero. We'll talk about hero selection later. The most important thing here that I want to tell you guys is... In Paragon and most MOBAs, if not all, you have to play games against bots to a certain level. Did I? Okay. And that's really important because during those levels, especially if you're new to MOBAs, you can pick out character like how you want to play. What like you can experiment a little bit in Paragons till level three, I believe. So yeah, use those games. And that's like three games against bots. Use those games to kind of like practice and see what you like to play as. And that's really important in in this. So, Paragon is a MOBA, as I stated in the last video. What a MOBA is, is the standard MOBA mode is three lanes, as you see on the map here on the right side of the screen. You have towers in each lane. It's a three lane. You have towers in each lane. You build your abilities. You level. You have to destroy the towers progressively. And then the inhibitor at the back behind the two towers to get to the core, the enemy core. Um, something different in Paragon is Dex compared to other MOBAs. We'll talk about Dex in a later video. <coughs> this is awkward. I don't have what I thought I did. Okay. We'll just go with that. We'll just go with those for now. And in Paragon, you have the min in all MOBAs, you have minions going up, fighting, leading the way. Towers attack minions first. And in between each of the three lanes, there is a... And I'm between... On the on the each side, let me reword that. On the sides of the jung, on the sides of the middle lane, there is a jungle on the left and the right side. And I'll go into that jungle here in a second. Obviously, like you see a lot of different things here. Like there are the minions. If you see something, do 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 do. Minions prioritize minions. See? I'm standing in front of the, the minions. They pri prioritize each other. It is very important to kill minions. Obviously, like, here I am shooting the, en the, en the enemy. Killing minions is the most important thing as it is what gets you levels. That is important, guys. Minion killing is important. Recalling, as you just saw by the the bot player back there, is how you get back to base. And guys, you want your minions to push into the tower because tower prioritizes minions, unless you fire on other players. I'm gonna show, run you through real quick, show you destroying the tower. Maybe if I can get this. Once the minions are all gone. The, min the tower attacks you, and that's how much damage it does right there. That right there is how much damage it does. I just wanted to show you guys that, and as you see, killing minions levels. Like, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Obviously, killing players, if you can, if you can kill the player... And then, that's what happened. Eventually, 
obviously I had minions in the area, but I killed. I attacked the 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 player, quote unquote, and the tower attacked me. <laughs> that's what happens. That's that's what happens. Oh, I'm still a little stuffy, guys. I'm gonna run you into the jungle real quick. We'll go through that. Obviously, towers, tower, tower. As you can see on the map, there are two in each lane. Inhibitors are at the back behind the towers. You destroy those, and then you move on to the core. We'll talk about this in a second. <laughs> and this. The jungle. Hang on a second, guys. My bad. My bad. Leave me alone. Sorry, I am um, got a little stuffed up there. Jungles have minion have creatures. They are buff camps. Red is damage. Blue, as you see on the map, is mana. There's a black one here on in Paragon, which does extra structure damage. If you attack these things, eventually after you kill them, you get XP and a buff. I'm not gonna go through this right now. Going to run over to just a standard camp, maybe. These white individual camps here, these are just XP camps. They drop nothing, they just give you XP. And, oh, you see it right there. Once you get out of a certain area, do, 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 the XP camps go back and the camps will go back and reset. Another thing with jungling, you want to go in, like you can use it to gank. I'm not going to be able to uh, compete with this guy because he outlevels me. Because I've been fucking around showing you guys the jungle, which is important. And then one final thing in the jungle. Let me see if I can get across without dying. Is in the jungles you have this really large thing. In Paragon it's this. It's, it's an extra buff. And it's mean, oh my god. I didn't, like, it takes a lot of damage. It, you can't just have one person do that. That was the point of that. Obviously, guys, I'm going to recall, go back to base. I'll show you two more things. Actually, I've already gone over everything important to MOBAs. Just to, to like, just general to all MOBAs. I've gone over that now. <coughs> and, do, do, do. Obviously, guys, as you're getting XP, make sure you level things. Make sure you're buying items. Items are important. Obviously, here I am just kind of, like, not even buying items right now. I'm just going with the flow. Oh, another one last thing on the jungle. You can buy these things called wards. They, you put them at entrances of the jungles they see around you. They help you prevent from getting ganked and attacked by the bad guy. I will place one now because I do have one. They do always cost something. Let me get over here. And I will place one right there, just like that. And X in X radius, they see... They see things in X, X radius. I just got assaulted. We'll just leave them alone because they're being mean and doing their own thing. Unique to Paragon number one, Harvesters. These things give you card XP, which is one of the forms of XP that you use for buying cards, your items in other words. You place these at the beginning of the game. It's three and six minutes when they come up. This boss is just really stupid. He's gonna get what? I'm confused. The bot just like we're also fighting two tanks over here. That's that's a no no usually. These orange little dots are the card XP. I'm actually gonna dip back into the jungle and see if wow. 
see if I can actually show you the placing of a harvester. Um, number two thing, just unique to Paragon, the shadow pools, these pools of... <coughs> <coughs> pools of invisibility that, like, you walk into them and you turn invisible. You walk out, they go invisible. You shoot again, you, you lose your invisibility. <laughs> Or if there's another person with you. So yeah, there's that. Travel mode travel mode is unique to Paragon. It's combat mode. Like there's a different there's travel mode and combat mode. Travel mode, if you get stunned while you're in it, that happens. If you get hit while you're in it, that that's what happens. You get stunned, so you don't want to be in travel mode too much. Otherwise, you will get stunned, and you will have an issue. <laughs> Here we go. Placing a harvester. You go to it, you place the harvester. If you have a harvester key, the harvester comes up a lot quicker than what it is right now. I don't have one in this deck. So, yeah, it's just... Do 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 that And you have to build the harvester and then hopefully in the process not get ulted and die. Which is what happened to me. So guys, that's really basics. Obviously a harvester key is the most important for harvest to get harvesters. Um, hopefully there's nothing I missed. We're going to recap real quick. General to all MOBAs. Three, three towers, or six towers. One in each, three, three lanes, two towers in each lane. <coughs> Sorry guys, I am just getting over a cold. Still kind of there. Minions attack the tower. Tower prioritizes minions unless you hit the enemy hit the player kill minions is important main goal destroy all of the towers and then the inhibit all of the towers in the lane then the inhibitor and then get to the core destroy the core boom you win yay victory Woo! yeah yeah victory Woo! um travel mode and <coughs> specific specific to paragon travel mode you don't want you only want to use it to travel don't go in near enemy players otherwise you get stunned Harvesters are important, getting card XP, harvester key is the most helpful, and then the invisibility pools, shadow pools, whatever Paragon calls them. So guys, that is it for this video. If there's anything that I, that I missed, hit the put in the combat or put in the comment section. And guys, good luck on your first three games playing against bots. Use it as a time to experiment with characters, put, kind of see who you want and YouTube. Peace out and stay classy.